Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your prenatal upper body and arm focused workout. What you're going to need today is two sets of dumbbells, and if you only have one, that's okay. Uh, grab a lighter set, you know, right around three, five pounds-ish, and then a heavier set. I'm recommending right around 10 pounds and above. Again, everyone is different, so pick your weight selection accordingly. We're also going to need a band. Now, this is for the warm-up. We don't actually need the band, but if you have one, definitely grab it. We'll all, we will also need a bench. Now, if you don't have a bench handy, just grab a chair. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. I'll give you an additional option. So grab those four things and let's get to work. All right, so we're going to begin our warm up really activating and firing up the delt muscles. So we have this band right above the wrist. We're pressing into that band at all times while we have it on. Now, if you don't have a band, you're doing the exact same thing, but without a band to start. All right, now we're gonna face the wall. We're doing something called spider crawl. So we start by pressing into the band. Our hands go right here on the wall. We're gonna walk it up very slowly, pressing into the band. Walk it up, 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 and then we walk it all the way back down. So find your wall, we have 10 total, let's go. One up, and then one down is one repetition, and we have 10 of them. So really press into that band as we walk it up, and then walk it right down. 10 total, go at your own pace. So with these bands, the heavier the band, the more challenging it's gonna be. If you have a super light band, um, I'd recommend starting out with a light band. So if this feels not attainable, you know, just take that band off, just walk it up, just body weight. We gotta find what works today. <sighs> nice work. All the way down, all the way up. Keep pressing into that band. Delts are starting to really wake up right now. Fire up, should I say. We're halfway through. You can always bring the hands a little closer together if you need to as an option. All the way up. And all the way down. Come on, we have three more total. I know you can do it. Keep this tempo, keep pressing into the band. Last two. Bring it down. Here's our last one, all the way up, and then all the way down, come on. Nice work, bring the hands together, give your shoulders a nice little roll back, and roll the shoulders forward. All right, release the hands long. Press into that band, keep a neutral grip. We have 15 front raises coming your way. So we're bringing that band to shoulder level and then we're controlling it on the way down. Keep a slight lean, a very slight lean forward in to help isolate the delts and to keep the back, keep that anterior tilt completely out of it and keep the lower body out of it as well. So let's go 15 total at your own pace. Nice work. Focus on the inhale, filling up the rib cage, front sides and back. Exhale, give that baby a gentle hug up to engage the TVA. Now continue breathing normally. We have five more. Last five, four, three, two. Now we're holding it up, hold it up, pronate a grip. Flip the palms, the face, the ground below. We're pulling that band away from you. Bring it to eye level. So think of this as a face pull. Elbows are high and wide. Squeeze the upper back, the rear delt muscles. Bring it out. We have 10 total. Let's go. That was two. Big squeeze. Elbows high. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice work. Let's roll those shoulders back. And let's roll those shoulders forward. All right, we're gonna do that one more time as your activation warm up before we add some weights to it. So let's go. Remember, this is an option. This is a modification. This is more challenging. You can always bring the hands slightly more together to make it more doable. Find what works for you. All right, let's go, 10 total. That's one up, one down is one rep. We have 10. Total, <laughs> I love these spider crawls. 
we can. We're gonna press into the band as we walk it up. Press into the band as we walk it down. You have a couple feet in between you and the wall, so there's lots of room to walk it down. Keep that constant breath. Never hold the breath. I know sometimes it's easy to do. Just keep, be mindful of that. Keep it up, come on, we're halfway through. Five more. Last four. Drive into that band. It's hitting the fingers. Keep this tempo. Nice work, we have two more. Bring it down, I know it's starting to burn and fire up, but keep this going, come on. Bring it all the way back down, nice work. Bring those hands together, give yourself a few shoulder rolls back, and then some shoulder rolls forward, we're not quite done yet. Hands go long, press into the band. Your delt should already be firing up slightly and forward to keep the lower body completely out of it. It's all in the delts, eye level. Control it on the way down. 15 total, go at your own pace. Going around that beautiful belly. Getting the shoulders nice and strong because once that baby comes, guess what? They're gonna have to get strong to carry that baby around. That baby's heavy, typically heavy, and they get heavier, typically. <laughs> Keep it up, come on. Here we go, last three, two, and one, hold it up, flip the grip, make that fist, pronated grip, bring that band, eye level, really press it out, elbows high and wide, squeeze the upper back, and then bring it out, face pulls. We have 10 total, that was one. Come on, five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, get rid of that band for one second, and he'll cross it over. Give yourself a little stretch of the shoulders. Let's take it to the other side, just giving yourself that little stretch. And then let's just bring it side to side. Big stretch, hold, switch and hold. Nice, switch and hold. One more each side, because we're not done with this band yet. Nice work. We're placing the band right back to that low band position. Now we're going to grab some weights with it. You can always do this without the band, but the band is gonna make it more challenging. So come in your way. We have delts, back, or delts, biceps, and backs. So we're gonna start back with those front raises. Now this time it's gonna be a little bit more challenging with those light weights in your hand. Remember, you can always go a little bit lighter to make it more attainable. So come in your way. We have 10 front raises, and then we go directly into some hammer curls right now. We're taking it up and down, let's go. We've already done it, now we're making it more challenging with those weights. Pause, control. Keep that slightly forward. Keep the gaze focused on the ground a couple feet in front of your own feet and keep pressing into that band. Inhale, exhale. Come on, two more. No swing and last one. All right, now we're holding it right here. Keep tension on the band. Now we're gonna curl it up. The band goes around the belly and then bring it right back down. We have 12 total hammer curls. That was one. Let's keep going. Below the belly, above the belly. Nice. Big squeeze of those biceps. Keep this tempo. Go at your own pace. 12 total reps. Come on, two more. Last two, and last one. Nice work, keep that good posture. We're hinging from the hips. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Keep the neutral grip with the hands. From here, press into the band, draw the band right below the boob. So right around the bra strap is where we're taking that band to, above the belly, around the bra strap. Elbows in tight for that high row, we're gonna hit the back. Here we go, we have 15 total, let's go. Squeeze the upper back. Then if your band, comes in contact with the boobs, that's okay too. Just press into that band, squeeze. You're looking at the ground, and this is perfect. 
Keep this tempo. Press into the band on the way up. You got it. Booty's out. Last five. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Set those weights down. We get a little recovery with some quarter squats. Release that band. We're taking it to a quarter squat. So chest is lifted heavy in the heels. Take it down. Feel tension in the glutes and in the hamstrings. And then we bring it right back up. Just bring it down a quarter of the way. Bring it up. Think of it, this is your recovery. We are here for 10 total reps, and then we're doing that same block again. Five more. Knees are going out as we drive up. Good. Last two. Last one. All right, place that band back on. We're grabbing your light weights. We're doing that exact same thing. So if you need to adjust the resistance, adjust it. Grab the light weights. Final round of front raises. Let's hit those front delts. 10 total, let's go. Slight lean forward, control it. We're hitting the front of the delts, the interior delts. Nice work, no bouncing. Control it, you are strong, come on. Pregnant, not powerless. We got it, last two. Last one, now we hammer curl, we're going right into it for 12. Press into the band. Band goes around that belly. We can always get rid of the band if needed, but if you can, let's keep it there. Still keeping that slight hinge forward. Keep breathing, come on. Two more. Last one, nice work. Hinge it all the way forward, so flat, flat back. Press into the band. We have uh, low rows, elbows in tight for 15. We go, come on. In tight, big squeeze of the upper back. Press that band out. And my shoulders are on fire, come on. I know yours are too. You can do this. Keep that good posture, here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice. Set those light weights down. Take that band off. We are done with your band. Let's take it to some quarter squats, 10 total for a little recovery. Quarter way down, drive it up. After this, we're picking up your heavy weights, continuing the upper body. If you need to, always bring it down to your lighter weight selection. It's always gonna depend how you feel today. So adjust your weight selection and your resistance with how you're feeling. And if you feel good, we're grabbing them. Last one, nice work. Grab your heavy weights, and we're going to start with a shoulder press, but we're gonna add the legs into it. So that quarter squat that we just did, we're doing it again, and we're using the legs to drive the dumbbells overhead. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like first. We bring it to that field goal position. Quarter squat, sitting back and down, using the legs to drive it up. Control, control, control on the way down. So think of it, one explosive count up, using the legs, Three count down on the eccentric portion. We got 10 total, let's go. Drive it up, control. Quarter squat, control it down, nice. So just remember, we wanna keep the inhale, 360 diaphragmatic breath throughout the rib cage. On the exhale, give that gentle baby a nice hug up. So we're engaging the TVA. We're not putting any pressure on the midline of the belly. Last two. Last one. Now hold here, rotate the palms to face you, supinated grip. Arnold, press for five. We're going right into it. To you, to me as we press. No lower body, control it. Come on, three more. Last two, keep that neutral low back. Last one, hold it up, hold it up. Place the palms together, place the weights together. We're hinging at the elbows. We have tricep extensions for 15. So we're hinging at the elbows, press it up. Keep the elbows in tight, keep that neutral low back. This is what tends to happen when we're carrying. So right here, that anterior tip of the pelvis, that Beyonce booty, we're sticking it out. Just make sure we're keeping it neutral. If we have that anterior tilt of the pelvis, it just puts more pressure 
on the abdominal area. It's like you're constantly stretching that area out and we want to minimize that, especially postnatal. So just keep that in mind. Here we go, last two. Last one, bring those dumbbells down. Nice work. We're coming back into a uh, bicep curl, this time flipping the grip. We're gonna start supinated grip. So palms are facing me, mine are facing you. From here, we curl it up, big squeeze of the biceps. This is the fun part. We're rotating back to pronated grip. Thumbs go around, control it on the way down. That's what makes us really hard. All right, so let's go. One count up, flip the grip, control it down, nice. One count up, supinated grip, nice. Pronated to curl, supinated to go down. Nice, everything with control. That's what I'm talking about, come on, five more. Lower body is completely out of it right now. Just keep that neutral low back, neutral pelvis something to just be mindful of throughout this pregnancy journey you're on. Here's your last one. Whew. Nice work. We're gonna set those dumbbells down, go back to our recovery, quarter squats for 10, taking it down, driving it up with the heels. Whew. Freeing up our arms just a little bit. Remember to press those knees slightly out. Here's the common thing. So the knees wanna cave in. Just be mindful of that as well. Firing up the glutes and hamstrings, press it up. Here's your last two. And your last one, nice work. All right, we're coming back to those shoulder press with legs. We have 10 total. Now your option is to just take the legs completely out and just do a regular shoulder press. All right, so here we go. Field goal position, quarter squat. Give that baby a nice gentle hug up to engage the TVA. Drive it up, make sure you have a neutral low back. So neutral, not neutral. See the difference? All right, come on, five more. Control it. Four, control. Three, control. Two, control. Here's our last one. Now flip the grip to you. We have Arnold presses for five. It's five, lower, four, three. You got it, come on, two more. Last one, hold those dumbbells up. Press the dumbbells together, neutral grip. Hinge the elbows in tight. We hinge at the elbows and then we drive it up. We have 15 total. Widen your base to keep the lower back out of it. All in the triceps, big stretch in those triceps. We can always just use one of these weights if needed. If it becomes too much, set one of those weights down. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Bring those dumbbells to the side. Flip the grip, supinated grip. We're curling it up. Four, 10, flipping the grip on the way down. One count up. Flip the grip. Three, two, one. Thumbs go in. Control it on the way down. Nice work, that was two, eight more. You got it, come on. Second round through should be a lot more challenging. We can still work those muscles. We're getting strong. Here's your last three. Two, exhale on the way down. Last one. All right, put those weights down. We're going for your recovery. 10 quarter squats. You can also grab a drink if needed and just skip the squats. Here we go, 10 total. <sighs> Heavy in the heels, chest is lifted. Not taking it all the way down, just enough to feel it in the hamstrings and glutes. Last three, two, and one. Okay, we're doing that one final time for a total of three sets. So grab it, adjust your weights accordingly. All right, so here we go. Shoulder press with the legs. We have 10 total. Uh, let's go at your own pace. 10 total reps, final round. Let's go, 10. 
control it. Quarter squat, drive, control. Give that baby a nice gentle hug up. Keep the TVA activated. Not putting any unwanted pressure on the linea alba tissue. Nice, come on, keep this tempo, you got it. Last three. Last two. Here's your last one. Hold the legs, we bring it, Arnold press, five. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells go together. If you need to, you can just grab one of those weights with both hands. Here we go, 15 total triceps, let's go. Big stretch along those triceps. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Here's your final round. Supinated to pronated bicep curls. Let's go, 10 total. Flip the grip. Control, control, control on the way down. Nice, just keep looking slightly down. Inhale up as we squeeze the biceps. Exhale down slow. Nice, come on. After this, we get a little break. You can take a drink of water if you want to after this. We have five more. You can take a drink of water anytime you want. <laughs> Let me just clarify that. You have the ability to hit pause at any point during this workout, never forget that. Last two, no swinging. So with control, last one. Nice, set those dumbbells down. We have quarter squats for 10. This is your recovery. And then while I demo what's coming your way, feel free to grab a drink of water, hydrate, 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 and hydrate some more, but not too much, because that's not always good either. There is a thing called overhydration. I'm not getting into it though. Very rare, but it's happened to me. Okay, two more. Last one, nice work. All right, for your final block, we're going to combine those heavier weights with the lighter weights. So you need both, keep them around. Your first exercise will be a high row. Now you can go a little bit heavier with this because we're hitting the back muscles and it's just one arm at a time. So we only need one of these heavy weights. We're gonna be bracing yourselves, left knee, left hand on your bench or your chair. From here, flat back, palm faces in. Elbow goes high and wide, we squeeze the upper back, control it on the way down. I'll show you an option if you don't have a chair. All right, so go ahead, grab your heavy weight. Let's get it, 12 on the right, 12 on the left. Keep that baby, give that baby a nice gentle hug up to keep the TVA engaged. Flat back, let's go. 12 on each side, big squeeze, control it. No momentum here. Big squeeze at the top, flare that elbow out to the side. Keep that nice, steady inhalation and exhalation. Here's your last two. And the last one, nice job. We gotta flip it around, do the other side. Here, sorry. Sorry about the view, 12 total. Big squeeze of that upper back. Come on, four more just like this. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice work, let's bring it up. Place that heavy weight off to the side. Now we need your lighter weight. So we're gonna continue hitting the back, the rear delt muscles on the back, and then we're gonna hit the chest. So starting off, we're gonna hinge forward just like we did during the warm up. Arms are long, palms face together from here. Pretend like you have a beach ball in between your dumbbells and that chest, or if you're in your third trimester, we're just going right around that beautiful belly, squeezing the upper back, controlling it on the way down. We're not taking it directly out to the side, but about a 45 degree angle. All right, y'all, let's get it. We have 15 total. Give that baby a nice gentle hug up. Neutral low back, 
If you are experiencing any low back pain, just make sure we're not doing this and we're right here. Nice, keep the gaze on the ground. Keep this tempo. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, stand it up tall. Now we're going to hit the chest a little differently than what we're used to. We're gonna keep it standing from here. Draw the dumbbells out to the side. We're not going into lateral raise. Now palms face me, mine are facing you. We're going around the beach ball, around in between the chest and the face. So we hug it in, big squeeze it as we hug, squeezing the chest in the uh, front of the delts, and then we bring it out to the side. We have 10 total, that was one, nine more. Hug it in, control it out, keep those elbows lifted. Bring it out, nice work. Hug it in, bring it out. Dumbbells up, come on, find more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Set those dumbbells down. We're going right into the heavier high rows. Again, adjust your weights accordingly. Start with your weaker side first. If you have one, flat back. Gentle hug of the baby up to keep your TVA nice and activated, bracing yourself with the left side of the body. We go. 12 total. Elbow goes high and wide. Six more. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's hit that other side. We're just flipping it around. 12 at your own pace. Get into position. Get set. Get the engagement. And now let's go for 12. Elbow high and wide. Really focus on squeezing the upper back. Nice, come on, halfway through. Here's your last two and last one. Nice work, set that dumbbell down. We're grabbing your lighter set of weights. First up, hitting the back muscles. Second up, hitting the chest. All right, so we're hinging forward. We go back and around. So if we were looking at a clock, we're not going three to nine, we're going about four and eight o'clock position. So let's go, big squeeze. Hit the backs of the delts, upper back. And this is gonna be great as that belly wants to pull us forward. We're just gonna strengthen the back. Helps, helps keep that great posture with control. Here we go, last three, two, one. Nice work, stand it up tall first. You may wanna widen your base from here. Lateral raise, flip the grip, slight bend in the elbows. We're hugging it in. Squeezing the chest in the front of the delts. Bring it in, keep the elbows high. Come on, 10 total. <sighs> nice work, no swing in the lower body. If you need to adjust your weight selection even more, maybe we're just grabbing water bottles. That's gonna be challenging too. <sighs> Come on, last two. Nice work, last one. And release those weights. We're doing that one more time through and then we are done with your upper body day. So let's really make it count. Get that mind muscle connection and let's go. 12 high rows, bracing yourself first. Gentle hug up of the baby to keep the TVA activated. No coning, no tinting, or we need to focus on the breath. Remember that always. All right, let's go, 12 total. And that's just something to think about postnatal as well. We never wanna see any coning or tinting down the midline of the body ever. And if you ever see that, just stop. Refocus on your breath and refocus on the connection with the transverse abdominals and your engagement's gonna be a little different prenatal and postnatal. Here we go, last one. All right, let's flip sides. We go to the other side, 12 total. Final round of high rows. Gentle hug up of the baby, let's go. And I just prefer this way a little bit more than that static lunge variation because it really uh, just isolates the back a little bit more and it helps with balance a little bit more. I just like it all around. Come on, two more. Last two and last one. Okay, we're grabbing your light weights. This is it. Rear delt flies and then standing chest flies. 15 of the first, 10 of the last. We can do it. Let's go. We hinge forward. 
Let's go. 45 degree angle. Make sure we're not going directly out to the side. It's slightly behind the shoulders. Big squeeze to the back. This is so good for that posture. Whew. Nice. Keep looking down. You know what to do. Whew. Keep the breath constant. Here we go. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stand it up nice and tall. You may want to widen the base of the feet. From here, lateral raise. Flip the grip. Slight bend of the elbows. We're hugging it in. Bring it out. Hug it in. Bring it out. Elbows high. Don't bring them down here. Keep them lifted. This is it. This is your final exercise. You can do this. Last five. Squeeze. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Nice work. Let's set those dumbbells down before we go into a nice little stretch. First, inhale up. And exhale, grab a hold of the right wrist, excuse me, left wrist with the right hand and just side bend up and over to the right. Really ground through the left foot. You can side bend a little bit more, feeling a nice stretch along the side body. Inhale up, flip the grip. Exhale, side bend up and over to the left. Feel a nice stretch along the right side body. Inhale, both arms reach up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage, just opening up the chest. Keep the belly nice and out of it. Inhale up, exhale, open up the chest. Ooh, I felt a little crack there. Again, inhale up, exhale, draw it open. Focusing on the chest. Nice work, grab the right arm, give it a nice hug in. Big inhale up, neutral spine. Exhale, release left ear, left shoulder. <laughs> I felt another crack. <laughs> All right, let's switch it. Inhale up, flip the grip, left hand, hug it in. <laughs> Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Oh, let me go take a bubble bath later or something. Do some yoga. All right, let's come to our final stretch of the day. This is one of my favorite upper body stretches. Now, if you don't have a bench, don't worry about it. But if you do, find something that will just give you a little bit more space. So we're coming down to the knees. This is our final stretch. Placing your hands on the bench. Walk the knees out until they're directly underneath the hips. From here, we're going to let that chest melt. Melt, melt, melt. Until we feel a nice stretch along the upper back, along the triceps, along the shoulders. And this is where we're gonna hang out for a few rounds of breath. You can always stay here longer. And this is what it would look like on the mat. Same concept, just the hands are staying right here. Take one more deep inhale, and then as we exhale, slowly come out of it. Let's meet onto the ground. Nice work, find a nice easy seat. Inhale up, and exhale, cactus open. Once more, inhale up, and exhale, cactus open. Nice work today. If you are wanting and if you are craving more stretches, just check out the uh, prenatal playlist and there's some stretching for upper body, lower body. There's also some yoga playlists as well. So check that out. What do you wanna see? Let me know and I will create it for you. Let me know how that was in the comments below. Like, subscribe and have a wonderful rest of the day.